Hey everybody, it's your best friend Chris Fafali. It's back with my seventh video blog. I'm pretty excited to be the seventh anniversary of my video blog. I think I've been doing a great job. A lot of people have been telling me I've been doing a great job. Like my cousin Jonathan and my cousin Gina and my Aunt Linda, they're big fans of the blog. They're probably watching right now, doing a great job. Came over and played some video games the other night. That's one of the reasons why it's been a couple days since I've blogged, but you guys don't mind because I'm back with my best blog yet. I got a very special guest tonight, but first I have to recommend a DVD to you guys. The DVD is Kennywood Memories. If you're from Western Pennsylvania and you haven't seen Kennywood Memories, you must be out of your mind or live in a cave. Kennywood Memories is great. It's narrated by my man Rick Seaback and my good buddy Casey McIntyre is in Kennywood Memories as about a four or five year old kid and he does a great job pulling Kenny the Kangaroo's tail. For those of you who don't know what Kennywood is, it's a great amusement park and this is a great DVD. You guys should check it out. I have a very special guest on my blog today. As you guys all know from the title of the blog, my special guest today is Steve Sabosley. He plays guitar and sings for the band Punchline, which uh, it's no coincidence that happens to be the band that I am also in. Uh, here's a clip of Steve from the studio during the recording of Just Say Yes. How does this happen? How does this happen? How does this happen? How do we know? Laying in his deathbed, he looks around in disbelief. He made it to a hundred, but this is... <laughs> Can we do Just pun. Yeah. I think Steve did a great job, and here he is, everybody. What's up, Steve? Hey, Chris. What's up, man? So, Steve, can you tell the people watching the blog out there why is Just Say Yes the best punchline album yet? And I would say that it's because the songs are better, and the other ones sucked, and they were stupid pieces of garbage that I can't believe we even admit that those are us because when I listen to our new album, it makes me want to do an Olympic flip off of the high dive in the water cube. Man, that's why. So tomorrow is a big day for us, Steve. It's the first day of filming for our video for the song, The Hit. Can you tell the people out there watching the blog a little bit about the video? The video that we're filming next week is a spoof on an 80s sitcom. Um, all I can say is that Chris is gonna play the part of mechanic and it's going to be really, really good. Yes. All right, Steve, before you go, give us a couple of recommendations. Um, as far as recommendations, um, I like to read John Grisham books when I do read, although I don't really read that much because anytime I pick up a book, I always decide to put it down and play guitar instead. And I also like reading Time Magazine. Me and Chris both have a subscription to Time Magazine. And I've been listening to Endless Mike and the Beagle Club. They're a band that we played with in Johnstown a few weeks ago, and they're really, really good. And I like Pringles Honey Sticks. I don't know if that's what they're called, but they are new, and I just bought them, and they're good. They're little sticks. Steve, I think you did a great job on the video blog. I'll talk to you later, man. Chris, thanks for having me on here, and you have a good day. So anyway, before I go, I think I should mention again, it's only 30 days till the new Punchline album comes out. You can order it right here at punchline.me and I'll be coming to you hopefully with some blogs straight from the video set over the next couple days. I think you guys will enjoy it. Hopefully I can find a nice floor to blog on and hopefully I'll be seeing you guys all soon and hopefully I'll be seeing you soon. Peace.